Schaefer, what, what was specifically going on out there? Um, my big men were sealing up the lane really well. My teammates were really spread, so it's kind of hard when you have shooters on your team to clog the lane for me coming down when I could just kick it out. And I think that was pretty much the moral of the story. Your career high, were you feeling anything special, or was it just a combination of a bunch of things? Man, I missed six free throws and had five turnovers. So at the end of the day, that's really what I was looking at. I literally just looked at the statue and was wondering where they came from. I know I normally don't miss free throws, so it was kind of shocking to me. And I missed, on well, my third miss, I could hear my mom yelling at me. So, I mean, she'll probably <laughs> give me a hard time tonight. But besides that, I just think I got to learn from it. Good win going forward. Yeah. Saturday, you go to JPJ. It was big, big for us. Um, big test on Saturday, but we just got to control what we can control now. I think we're tied for fourth in the conference with how jumbled up it is. Yeah. I just think we got to look forward after 12 o'clock tonight. Thank you, Justin. I appreciate it. What's it like getting into a game where you can play downhill, so to speak? I mean, that seems to be your kind of game. Um, I mean, it became really easy, but at the same time, they were fouling me and I wasn't making free throws, so it kind of wasn't positive in the terms of us scoring. It was okay. just foul him, he's going to miss in my head because I missed six of them. So so pe people are patting you on the back for scoring 32 and you're thinking, man, I really could have had 40. For sure. I missed three bunnies at the rim layups and then I missed six free throws. So when you add that up, that's over 40. So What, what was it about this game? That I'd say we just um, we know what we did wrong in the last game, and then we know that we need to fix it. And when we, we get a couple days to fix it, I think we're really really good at that. Uh, the coaching staff is really good at fixing the bad things. And in the Miami game, we didn't. It seemed like we were a little sluggish. And today, I thought if, if you were in the stands, you could tell we had that that energy and that that juice going today. Yeah, talk about Justin today. I mean, it looked like the scouting report was off or something. They clearly weren't aware of him, or he, he just kind of having his way out there. What were you seeing out there on the court? Uh, he's, he's the best point guard in the ACC. It's, it's no question, in my opinion. Uh, he can score. He can pass it. He plays great defense. Uh, and he showed that today. He was really he was on a mission. If he didn't notice, he was getting to the basket. He wasn't settling. And uh, he was out there dog tired, but he didn't, he didn't quit at all. So he, he played great today. Thank you, Devin. I appreciate it. Yeah. When did you find out you were starting? Uh, about probably the same time you did. <laughs> was it a matchup thing, uh, or what, what was the reason? Why, why did you end up in the starting lineup today? Uh, couldn't tell you. Uh, that's something Coach can probably answer. Uh, to me, I just was able to um, try and make the most of my, the opportunity that he gave me, and uh, gave the, the opportunity that he gave our team, and uh, I just tried to make the most of it. You've been here for Virginia Tech a long time, played on a lot of teams and even two different sports, and you're down to your last seven regular season games now. Uh, how are you feeling coming in, into the home stretch now? Uh, it's, it's it's surreal, I guess. I'm, I'm trying to just take it day by day. Uh, even hour by hour, I'm trying to just enjoy with with all the guys that are here and trying to make the most of these memories that are probably going to last me for, for the rest of my life. Thank you.